Today we're here in our 1970s Circa bathroom, and I'm here to answer a question that's been bothering me for some time. It has to do with this medicine cabinet. Well, since we've moved in here, I've noticed this medicine cabinet has these slots up here, and there's one back here behind uh, some of Mrs. Schlupp's toiletries. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I noticed. Jesus Christ. I noticed this uh, little sign here that the previous owner had put on. So I figure I'm going to take a shot at it and see exactly what a jolly good time gets you. Well, here goes nothing. Huh. Alright. Now what the hell. Let's see here. Where this thing will come off? Huh. Well, after thinking about it a little bit, I realized this house was built in 1978. And, uh, of course, things have gone up in price since 1978, so I figured maybe that 25 cents hasn't adjusted for inflation. So I'm going to go ahead and put another quarter in here. And still nothing. And 75 cents. Yeah, it ain't jammed. Well, this is all I'm putting in. Wow, it must be broken or something. Unless... Oh, there, that seems to be doing something. Well, I'll tell you what, that was grossly overrated. On a serious note, I really did wonder what these slots were for. And uh, maybe it's because I'm from a younger generation, but I did not know what they were for. And you know, since I've been shaving, we use these disposable razors here. You just would throw them in the trash and, and do the recess design. You know, you wouldn't have to worry about it. But if you were using a disposable straight razor, you would be faced with the dilemma of what to do with a very sharp object once you were done with it. And instead of throwing it in a garbage can and having to worry about it cut through anything that you came in contact with, you just simply put it here in this uh, slot and then that will go in the wall cavity and would sit there for years and years to come. And it's going to be interesting when we uh, remodel this bathroom, you know, what we may find in the wall. I'm hoping that the previous owner used it as a piggy bank and uh, maybe we'll find some money in there, but I highly doubt it. But maybe I'll be able to get my $20 back.